It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1631, recorded July 13th, 2017. Sock it to me! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have drones zooming in, a way to meet up, and a phone for your child, and a gadget that goes completely awry, all next on the Giz Whiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the only gadget pundit we ever have, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How are you yes, doing? Yes, you're stuck with me, pal. I'm fine. How about you? Doing great. Uh, it's been, I, I we recorded last week's episode early. I had a fantastic weekend um, and just have been continuing it up. Uh, one of the friends who was going to fly out on Tuesday decided, you know what? I'm just going to stay an extra week. So we've been doing stuff this week as well. It's wow. been kind of like an extended vacation. It's been really, 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 really fun. Uh, and how was Charlie when you went to get him? Very good. I have I, There's a, uh, a dog hotel place around here that I just love. I just absolutely love it. And they wash him every time that I bring him there. Uh, so he comes back. Is that an indication that you bring them a dirty dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just... <laughs> Just drop him off, you know, and then you get him back and he's all fresh and clean. And I travel so much, it's like I never have to give him a bath. It's like, you know, <laughs> it seems like every and other he, weekend I'm doing something. Oh, okay. Um, and he likes this place? Oh, he loves it. He, he, he like... He oh, prefers man, it he, to your house? Well, basically. Yeah, he comes back, like, so uh, <laughs> happy or, like, if he goes, like, uh, you know, 4th of July was kind of a, a hard week because of all the fireworks he, he oh, did not yeah. he did not uh handle that very well and i had to leave a few days after so he he went there all stressed and he came back all calm and happy it's uh you can just tell that that he really enjoys the place oh so, great that's so, good. yeah that's yeah definitely good. Uh, but yeah i went off to birmingham had a great uh, weekend i did archery and uh flew i uh, drone um josh the producer of this show actually bought a uh a, a drone and uh we've been flying that around it's just absolutely so fun and to do it out in the country is like oh yeah you know you're not worrying about someone going you're not allowed to fly this in the city you know it was just absolutely great uh had a really fun uh, uh weekend at play on con it was just a ton of fun so yeah Great. Excellent. How about you? Excellent. Uh, well, I went to the CES week thing, and then I went to another event called Sweet Sweet, which is all about toys. And then I got a new – this is kind of interesting. You might know about this. Uh, my kitchen sink faucet just suddenly gave up the ghost. You know, it's, it's, one, it's a uh, one lever thing. And at first it only went cold, and then you could move it all around, and it let nothing out. So I called the the handyman and he said, this is, I said, how does it work? Do I buy one or do you buy one? How does it work? He said, <laughs> this is how it works. We bring ours. You don't pay for it. You want something fancy. You pay for it. And we can't put it in till the end of this week. So I said, well, <laughs> bring me what you got. So they brought this uh, very nice faucet from Delta. Oh, but was neat about it, and maybe all new faucets come this way. The faucet already has three feet of water line permanently attached to yes. it. Yes, inside. Oh, you know that. Inside yes. of the, I don't know, neck of it. Yes, and so the handyman was saying, this it. is so great, you just drop it in the hole, and then everything is right there to connect to the water supply, in the past, they used to lay on their back and try and connect yeah. them up under the sink. Because you'd have oh, okay. two things. You'd have the sink, and then you'd have the spray attachment. But now it's all just yeah, I didn't one, get one integrated of those. Yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. No, it's great. It's great. So anyway, that's yeah. my big news. You went to five states and <laughs> you got a 19 faucet. exhibits. I got a faucet. <laughs> 
Well, great. Well, we have a ton of gadgets. We have like extra we have a gadgets. Ton of gadgets. So we're, we're going to go to CE Week, uh, which just ended today. And uh, we're going to go to Odyssey Toys. The second toy that you'll see in this video is one of my favorite things I saw at this show. So let's go. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz. One take fit here at gizwiz.tv. Odyssey Toys. We see them at Toy Fair, but they're here at CE Week. And they have some amazing stuff. And Michael is going to tell us about two of them. Yeah, thanks, Dick. Pleasure to be here. So we've got our Build-A-Drone first. Now, in the box, you're going to get 64 different pieces. And of those 64 pieces, you'll be able to build these three different sizes at least. Now... When you build the small one here, all those additional pieces you're not using, which you can see from the bigger sizes here, build up. Build a cool castle on top of this thing. Use your imagination. Do whatever you want to do. Well, Michael, could you build something that won't fly? As long as your arms are equidistant, meaning you have the same, if you have a two peg, a four peg, or an eight peg, you have to use that on each motor arm so that they're equally distanced, then it's going to fly just fine. I like this. It's that easy. We'll sell figurines as pilots. We'll sell additional pieces so that you can build your own cool, funky design. Whatever it is, you can do it with the build. Are these working? Absolutely. Oh, boy. Pop in the battery. We connect the remote control. Watch the, watch your mic. This is going to go straight up. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we pilot. gave this very strong motors. That way you can put a ton of uh, building block pieces on this thing to fly it around. All right, you can do mid-air flips with this thing. You got three different speeds, beginner, intermediate, and expert. So just uh, practice, get great at it, and then start zipping around your house. You know what? I'm going to buy a bunch of these and get a job with Amazon delivering packages. <laughs> now, what does the kit cost? Pieces the of kit's going to cost you $59.99, and then we'll have add-on accessories that will run from $9.99 to $14.99. Okay, and with that one kit, you can build any one of those three. With that one kit, you'll be able to at least build these three different sizes that we show you here on the table. Great. Now, what's the car? All right, so this is a, a, a take on the classic. Oh, we're going to go out here? Okay, we're going to go out uh, onto the floor. Hang on, uh, I'm going to come over to you one second, Michael, so we can hear you talk. All right, so we're going to turn on Automoto. This is what we call Automoto. Oh, I like that. All right. So forward, backward, left, right, obviously, just like any RC car. But here's the shtick here. Transform. Voice oh. Holy cow! Wow! Go forward. Voice activated. You can tell it to go forward, backward, left, right. You can tell it to dance. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I heard the word dance, and it's a dance. dancing fool. That's it. <laughs> can you turn it back into the car? Absolutely. All we got to do is say, transform. I'm amazed. That's a loud area. Really <laughs> neat. Now, yeah. what is that going to retail for? Kids, adults, everyone's going to love this thing. This is going to retail for $39.99. Under 40 bucks? Under 40 bucks. Holy cow. When is that coming out? Both of these will be available in about a month and a half. So, a um, uh, month and a half. So, right before Labor Day, they should be out. Right about that. Okay. Frame, yeah. OdysseyToys.com. There you see it. O D Y S S E Y. Odyssey Toys, amazing stuff. Dick D. Bartolo, Mans Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I will now transform into a car. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing. Holy cow. Isn't that neat? Yes, very, very neat. I, uh, I, I, I love the idea of building things on drones and being able to, you know, add, you know, things that look like Lego bricks on top of them. And then uh, a voice-activated car. That was a loud room. I can't wait yes. till more things become voice-activated. Okay. Toilet yes. flush. Thank and, you. And also the price, 39 under 40 bucks. That Easily. seemed really reasonable. I agree. Uh, I agree. For yeah. any RC, uh, that's very reasonable. Yeah. Um, and he was so, a very yeah. good drone pilot. Got to give him props. <laughs> he was. Very good. He was. Uh, uh, I don't think we had the video. I can't remember. It was at a toy fair several years ago. And neither one of us have ever flown a drone successfully. No more than 30. And this woman said, this is so drone? easy. Anybody. Can. And Dennis said, no, I don't think so. You can do it. Trust me. So she hands it to Dennis. And within 15 seconds, he had the drone tangled up in somebody's hair. Oh, no. 
I know it. It flew off the table right up to someone standing there, and it took about ten minutes to unwind. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I know. So I don't play with drones anymore, especially. <laughs> Too much of a liability. At, yes, exactly. Especially in a in a very small, quiet place, uh, a small, crowded place. Um, okay, we're going to get a couple things from Logitech. It's funny, this guy is from the business division of Logitech, and he keeps saying, and this is not for the average person, and you can only buy this through a registered distributor, and and I look on Amazon, and they're both there. Uh, one of them is says delivery in several weeks, mainly because it's not out yet. But both of them are very interesting, so let's take a peek. Here they are. Dick T. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Logitech, you know, we've been using Logitech webcams pretty much forever, and we're going to find out what's new here at CE Week. And Michael, you know what, this is the third interview where there's a Michael. A lot of Michaels. A lot of Michaels. Okay, yeah. so Michael, what is the latest and greatest from Logitech? All right, so late. This is called Meetup. I'll bring it up in the air. So Meetup is a true huddle room product. Logitech has a big focus on video conferencing. This product ships sometime in August, and it's designed for a room called a huddle room, 10 to 12 foot space. People sit around a table, eight to 10 people around a table. This camera has a 120 degree field of view. It's one single camera. One single camera, one single lens. It's a 4K optical, optical lens, and it's designed to be 120 degree field of view, which is this wide. So if you had a small room, There'll be people sitting around the table. No one will be cut off. You can actually see everyone and hear everyone clearly. And Michael, how many mics are in that? Or are you, are you using it for mics? Nope. There is also a, a version with an extension mic. Oh, great. You okay. You don't need the extension mic in that 10 to 12 foot area. So for $899, we only talk MSRP. This will cover the entire huddle room. Great. You do need software to drive this because this is basically hardware only. Okay. So you okay. use Zoom, Blue Jeans, Microsoft products, anything to be on the cloud, you need hardware. Okay. The other newest product, real quickly, is Brio. Brio is our 4K camera, it's a webcam. So one person endpoint. So, so Michael, is, is Skype capable of 4K? Very, very much, yes. Skype for business is one of our closest partners. So everything is optimized for Skype for Business as well as Zoom. And Skype for Business is, is a pay, I, I just it's use Skype, service. Skype. So it's basically a cloud-based video conferencing product. And you need hardware to drive these cloud-based products. That's what Logitech's all about. We're the hardware that drives the video. You need software and hardware. Okay. And that the that this guy the Brio one hundred ninety nine dollars coming MSRP. It's out in the market already, okay. and everything okay. here is in the B two B environment. So you see brown box. Only the business resellers can buy these. You will not find any of this at retail. It's designed specifically through distribution. I'm here in the Ingram booth. They're one of our main distributors, and then it's sold throughout that channel, whether it's CDW, DMRs, major resellers all across the country. Okay. Uh, interesting stuff. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Medis, right here in the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. CE Week in New York City. Bye. That's very good. So sometimes what they do is, uh, you know, he's saying, oh, these products are exclusive. La, la, la. They'll change. They'll, they'll put like a, a B at the end of the model number, you know. That's yes. The didn't, didn't we, yes. Yes. Right. I remember. The exactly the same. Um, I was looking at something from Asa and I said, you know, my thing ends in U, but I saw an ad for V, and I said, "Oh, that's the one. That's the Best Buy's version." Right. Which oh, they do they, this I said, too. It, and it's a sneaky. Do you know? Do you realize? So they change the model number by one letter, and Best Buy gets that thing, and Amazon gets the other. So you go to price match at Best Buy because Amazon has it cheaper, but Best Buy won't oh. honor it because the model number is different. Oh, that's interesting. It's it's very sneaky. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is and just I, I also have. I also have a tiny bit different. No, they can't price match. Can't get the cheaper price. that's on Amazon. And I have the feeling that uh, Logitech for business puts them in brown boxes. Right. So it so it looks like you know this industrial stuff. No pictures on the box. <laughs> yeah. You because you people, you it's know, a little it's more in that green because you're buying uh, five hundred of them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah.
Exactly. Um, yeah. So the Brio is on Amazon for just twenty dollars less than, and, and he, you notice, he did say a couple of times, "I'm talking manufacturer's suggested retail price." Um, the yeah. So no, that's I've twenty dollars. I've less. used the Brio. Oh, it's, oh, have you? It's a you great. Know, I'm it looking at it. Does, it doesn't have great reviews. It doesn't. Look at that. Um, no. now, did, did, you, did you like it? I like it. I do like it. Uh, and, and one of the reasons I do like it is because uh, they have that other, the C922, you know, that, that's supposed to be the pro webcam. Yes. And yes. I do not like that camera. This, uh, uh, the C922, in my opinion, is no upgrade uh, to the camera at all. They claim that, they're, that they do 60 frames a second and uh, things like that. And I, I, I am not a fan of how they do the 60 frames. They bring the bit rate down so much that the video just looks super muddy and soft. Um, but this camera, on the other hand, I really, really like. So if you're looking for a good webcam, I would suggest the Brio. It can do up to 4K. I don't he says Skype for Business can do 4K, and that might be true. I do not believe, I don't believe that normal Skype can do 4K yet. Um, oh, okay. But okay. Uh, that means also, like, and so I use it to stream. Now, I don't do the 4K. I do 1080, but it's a better looking 1080 than any other camera. And you can do 1080 at 60 frames a second, and it's a true 60 1080. Uh, and the other thing, it, it has a background replacement technology built in. I do not like that at all. It's very blotchy around the edges of, uh, of yourself. It's, they claim it's instant green screen, but I don't, I don't like it at all. Uh, and so I would not use it for a background re replacement uh, device. But other than that, it is definitely my favorite Logitech webcam at the moment. It uses USB-C on the back, uh, and it's USB 3 uh, compatible, so that if you need that 4K, you need to have a USB 3. Yes, you do. You do need uh, 3.0 for. Right. Well, when now, I do 4K, if you have USB 8... 2, uh, it will down convert to 1080, which is nice. To 1080, so that's good. Automatically, yeah. You yeah, know, 1080 is good. No, when I do 4K from here for ABC, I just do 1K at a time, exactly. and I just do it four. I do it four times, <laughs> four and times they just put it together at the studio. Four times a second, you know, 1K. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, so two things from Logitech, and our final thing is for kids. This I, I never uh, heard of this product before, but obviously it's been around for almost a year, but I think it's a great idea. Judge for yourself. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at CE Week, New York City. So Kid Connect, I got a press release about that. It sounded really interesting, and we're going to talk to, I cannot believe it. Michael, we have done five interviews, and four of them are Michaels. Now, are you one, are you one person running around? Uh, so, Don't tell you. My wife my, thinks I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael, tell us about Kid Connect. Well, Kids Connect is a GPS tracker cell phone for kids. Essentially, there's four numbers on the phone, if you see that. The parents go on the computer and program the numbers in online. One for mom, two for dad, three for home, four for grandma, whatever the parents want. Push the button, 30 seconds later, those numbers are in the phone, and those are the numbers that the kids can call. So they can't call China, they can't call 911, they can't- How about if their grandmother is in China? Oh, that's another story. <laughs> okay, there. okay. <laughs> but they're not doing all those, you know, they can only call who the parents allow. Now, when the phone's set to family mode, these are the only four numbers that can call the phone, too. So Johnny can't say to Sally, here's my number, call me. Also, there'll be no telemarketers calling strangers or anything else. Okay. Now, Michael, does it use a regular cell plan? Yeah, it uses a cell plan through our company, through the Kids Connect service. And our plans start at twelve ninety five a month and go up to sixteen ninety five a month. So it's very re very reasonable. And the phone itself retails for seventy nine ninety five on our website at www.mykidsconnect.com. And is My Kids Connect out now? Yes, it's currently available and has been for about a year. Now there's some other cool things this does. It's a GPS tracker, so if you want to know where the phone is, you can go onto our app anytime you want and see where the phone is. Also, it's got a really cool feature called Monitor. You send the phone a text that says monitor pound from one of these four numbers that's programmed in. 30 seconds later, the phone calls you back and you can hear what's going around the child without them even knowing you're listening. Oh, that's great. That's really great. Yes, it's all about safety and security of our children. 
This is very, very clever. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That is very, very clever. I like that a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, and I also like the, the the highest price plan is seventeen dollars. Right. It, it's possible that that's the one that lets you actually a kid if a kid gets in trouble and no one's home, it it puts on a live operator. Oh, interesting. Uh, so so that they could help you. Uh, I know so that's optional, so maybe that's that's the the uh, bigger plan. But it's very clever, and also the kid feels like, wait, I'm carrying a phone. Yeah, I have a phone. Ooh la la! Exactly. <laughs> I, I really like this so much, uh, and my favorite part is the price. Is that is reasonable enough that any parent uh, who wants to electronically monitor their child can do so. Um, I mean, not any parent, but almost every parent, and um, and, and the security of you're not giving them a real phone number is incredible. That's very, very, very nice. I I like it. And I think that yeah. people who... Uh, now, <laughs> there are some people saying, creepy, that you can have it call you and you can listen in without the kid knowing that you're monitoring them. Uh, a little bit creepy. Well, uh, bit. I'm thinking that, you know, if you think someone's bothering the kid or something that's not right. such a bad thing or you want to check uh, in on them at when they're i don't know at a friend's house or something make sure they're not watching pg-13 movies when they're not <laughs> they should only be watching g uh you know something like that i could easily see too yeah and i, I spoke to the manufacturer about putting on a fifth button that uh will automatically uh go to the gizwiz Exactly. For for all our video programs. I think this is a great cross promotional situation here. Is <laughs> just a auto button for the Gizwiz podcast. For the Gizwiz. Yeah. Uh, and I checked out. Uh, it's also on Amazon and, and it's sixty five dollars uh, today. It was anyway. Um, I, I okay. like it. I think that that uh, a good good gadget all around. Uh, it seems highly revated, reva- viewed, revated. Reviewed on Amazon as well. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it is pretty good. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is, I, I'm going to have more next week because uh, it was a small show, but they, they had a, a, a great amount of new stuff. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Chad's yo, yo, Crappy. But you might want it at Chad's <laughs> Crappy Corner. Get, Get it. it. Okay, and as so, we point out, sometimes it's not crappy. Sometimes it's not crappy. That's not this week. No, nah. uh, <laughs> you look dubious about it. I do. It. Okay, I, I'm very okay. dubious. So, this a month's theme is hardware stores. Last month we did uh, s- small pharmacy stores. This one is hardware stores, so Home Depot, Lowe's, that sort of thing. I saw this gadget, and and I'm. I'll I'll, pref, I'll start off by saying I didn't get it to work, okay? Uh, so so just know that that's about ready to come. This gadget, I thought I I knew that I really wanted this in my house. It is called Do Stop Moisture, and the idea behind it is that this will turn on when it notices mo- moisture in the air, and as it turns on, it will activate your fan that's in your bathroom. If you're in a modern home, uh, what they'll do is they in- install fans to make sure that it, your bathroom doesn't get too humid while you're taking a warm shower and your room doesn't get mildewy later. Um, I tried to install it, uh, and so you can watch the video here of me trying my best. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, DKD, Jen here. So this is the product that we're going to be testing out today, the Do Stop moisture uh, and so the idea is that instead of turning on a fan in a bathroom like this ooh, fan that this device will notice that there's moisture in the air and turn it on for you so that bathrooms don't get mildewy or uh, too humid so of course I'm gonna have to install this by turning off the breakers and things like that so we're gonna cut that out so when we come back it'll be installed Okay, so uh, I've been trying to install this for about the past 15 minutes, um, and I don't know if my house is weird or not, but there seem to be, in the instructions, it seems to say that there's some fan wires and there's some power wires, but my house has three different sets of wires. So the first thing is right at the top. It says, works with any 
home fan system and no hassle installation. <laughs> I beg to differ. So I'm gonna shove this all back into the wall and uh, try to use oh a, my uh, gosh. a different bathroom to see if maybe it was just this bathroom that's weird. Okay, so we are in the next bathroom to check out and see if this plug is any different than the previous plug. Okay, so uh, I cannot figure this one out either. If you look inside, uh, there, are um, many, many, many more wires than it claims that there should be. Um, I don't know if my house's electricity is hooked up super weirdly, um, but uh, it looks like I'd have to get an electrician to try this out. Easy installation, works with any fan. Uh, no hassle installation, great. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my experience with the dew stop. Uh, moisture by Q is my home has basically it, I don't understand how this works but it has three uh, sets of wires three sets of three wires going into the port and um, I couldn't figure out which wire went to where um, you have four wires on the back of this a normal power you know, power strip would have your uh, ground, your um, neutral, and your hot wire. Yeah. So it's only three. So you have to make sure to get each one correct, and then uh, make sure that some is going to like like with this. Uh, your neutral wire would be bundled with all three, but then your hot wire would be only from the power. And oh yeah, the Chad, touch touch the white wire again. Oh, my air conditioner just came oh, on. There, there we go. There I you go. I realized it was There's wireless this. the whole time. <laughs> um, now, I am going to continue trying this product. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time to run and get a, a different gadget. I will continue trying to make this gadget work. I think I'm going to call a handyman, call an electrician, and see if they can figure out how my power system works. But the no-hassle install and works with any fan ventilation uh, is kind of a false advertisement in my case. It uh, didn't work with mine right out of the bo box. What, is, what does that cost? So this uh, is available at Home Depot. I bought it for $35. My gosh. Uh, and you can find it at dostop.com. Let me uh, show you what the okay. website looks like. And, and I like this because um, I've had friends come over and they don't realize that when they're taking a shower, it's a good idea to turn on the fan just so that the room doesn't get uh, too, right. you know, steamy and that sort of thing. Um, I do know that there's some code, like uh, in when I went to get an apartment a few years ago, they said, oh, every place must have this fan. We had to install them because the building codes make, make us install fans. So make sure you turn it on when you're taking a shower. Um, this seems just like a nice, convenient thing for guests, you know, to, who don't remember to turn on the fan. Um, yeah. It was 60 bucks on, on their website. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, 39 my gosh, on, yeah. On, on, you know what, Chad? There's a little asterisk next to no hassle installation. And if you look at the bottom of the box, it says, just call a handyman. <laughs> exactly. That's so the maybe, real no I hassle. You, I think you missed that. Installation. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, the Do Stop Moisture by Q, with Q... I don't know what Q is, uh, is, was kind of a bust for me, but we're going to keep trying. Currently, a dud, a $35 dud, but possibly it will work out uh, in the end uh, for, for the do stop. So we're going to keep trying. But for this week, that's all she wrote. With that, we have a very, very exciting Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse, our horn. All right, our gadget warehouse video is from Shelly Hatton. And what is different about this is Shelly Hatton is here to tell us a little bit about the video we're about to see. So, Shelly, I'm going to turn my camera Hi, to slide Shelley. in a little. Hi, uh, how are you? <laughs> Doing great. Okay. 
<laughs> so tell us about your gadget. Well, my gadget is actually an old antique circular sock knitting machine. I bought it off of eBay. And uh, uh, the one that, I, that I'm demonstrating, I actually refurbished it. But the first one that I bought uh, works just out of the box. And there's a whole bunch of uh, people who uh, use these uh, circular sock knitting machines. There's actually a, a, a National Circular Sock Knitting Machine Association, and we have conventions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take Amazing. a look at what. Yeah, John, his whole website is pictures of places with just his head leaning in. So, uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so let's take a look at Shelly's sock knitting machine. Dick and Chad, this is my hundred year old circular sock knitting machine. They originated as far back as the 1890s, and they were used mainly for housewives to knit socks for soldiers during World War I and World War II. So, uh, what I've got here is uh, yarn, and it's in a, in a ball, and then of course I've got the, the uh, starter yarn with the uh, weights right here. So then what, what I do is, is the yarn comes, feeds up through here, and goes through here. And then let me start cranking here. It goes, the needles go up and down. And as it goes up and down, it's making loops. Wow. Now the bumps are on the, out, on the inside, and that's called a knit, um, a knit stitch. In order for me to, I can just make this as, as a knit stitch, or I can also come in here and I can do what's called a, um, a rib. Uh, I use a river. I don't have the needles in here, but I can put the needles right here on, on top of here. And what this does is it goes up and it goes back and forth. So then these knit and put the bump on the back. These knit back and forth and put the bump on the front. And the other thing that I can do is for my, uh, for my sock sizes, this is mainly for really for a woman's, woman's diameter. In order for me to make a bigger sock, I have another cylinder, and it has more needles, and it can make a bigger sock. So then, what does the sock look like? I have a cuff that I can, I'm able to make. I have a heel, and then I make a toe. I sew it up here, and then I can make a sock, a pair of socks in 45 minutes. And that is my gadget. That is so cool. Wow. And John is wearing, she only made one. John's wearing just one sock. Yeah. It takes 45 right. minutes. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, is an amazing. That's really cool. I, I'm surprised at how, it, it looked like it was going very, very fast um, uh, during the. But, like, but, it, but it's 45 minutes, right, to make a pair? Did you make say? A pair. Yeah. A pair. Oh, oh, okay. So you make one sock and. 22 that's and a half so cool. minutes. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty very, good. Very, very neat. Now, uh, you mentioned that there was a uh, knitting conventions. Uh, how many people show up to these sock conventions? About 50. Wow. Oh, my God. They're, all, they're from all over the, all over the world. Oh, and getting, getting we getting actually know call. people from each other because we met each other online. That's we very have, cool. Now, locally, what we'll do is we'll also have these things called crank-ins. And that's when we, a bunch of us get together, about four or five people get together and, and we learn how to use our sock machines. That, it sounds too exciting for words. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? They're from Texas, Chad, so you can join. I can join in. the crank in is what yes, I should do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's absolutely You know, great. you could uh, knit things for Minecraft. I can. Yeah. Stick to green and brown and it'll look like dirt. It's great. I love it. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Shelly. Uh, so that was great. So um, we have one in person, our first in person uh, video delivery. But we're looking for more videos. We need something for next week. Uh, make a video like Shelly did and John did, um, like one, two, three minutes max. Put it up on YouTube. On the drop down menu, click uh, unlisted if you don't want other people to see it and send us the link. 
And if we show it on the show, and it's pretty likely we will, it's got to be pretty terrible not to get on the show. You'll get, if you live in the U.S. or Canada, you'll get uh, the current Mad Magazine, a 35-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture. Fortunately, I can just hand them theirs. They don't don't even have to mail it to Texas. Uh, So get a get your camera your your smartphone rather and make us a video and send it to the link anyway to mail at gizwiz.tv and it can be like shelly something really old a gadget you love a gadget you hate and uh something you invented just anything that has a gadget uh central focus uh, two to three minutes, and we're looking for something for next week. We're trying to get new people to submit videos like Shelly did. Um, okay, and now it's time for the letter. <laughs> Now, and our letter, the subject is sophisticated neg replacement uh, from Ron Dupree. And he says, gentlemen, and I use that word loosely, regarding the neg boiled egg peeler on episode 1630, your instincts were absolutely correct. The neg is not the only design that peels eggs. If the promoter of the neg thinks they can fool everyone with their egg-shaped protrusions on the plastic body and that it's magic to make it work, they have made an egregious error. <laughs> okay. I love the egg puns. Yeah, exactly. Uh, watch this YouTube video, 35 Unbelievable Cooking Hacks. You'll see a sophisticated version of the egg peeler. As a matter of fact, it does five eggs at a time. Uh, go to YouTube and you'll find it at six minutes, 15 seconds into the video. Uh, okay, roll that video. Okay, they're putting it in Tupperware. Shaking it up and peeling it. Well, that was too simple. Whoa. Okay. Well, that was that was <laughs> that was pretty that good. That was it. That works. Is put it put works. it in Tupperware with some water and shake it. Oh my gosh! Uh, let me Five see. Five eggs at a time. Five eggs at a time. Uh, he uh, he finishes up. Uh, I really enjoy the Gizwe shows. I don't need to tell you to keep up the great work because you already do. Cheers, Ron Dupre, otherwise known as Ronnie D from Connecticut. So, Ronnie D, thank you for enlightening us. Yeah, I mean, it just it, it feels uh, uh, criminal. I mean, it's so simple just to, you know, take some eggs, put it in Tupperware. We can watch it again in less than two seconds. Boil the eggs, put it in a thing with water, and shake. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. It's full of water, right? Yeah, that it's thing. Full, or, or it's. Remember how you would put the, the like half of it fill with water with an egg? Same thing. Same thing. Okay. Pretty neat. Okay. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Thanks so much, Don, for uh, sending that over and confirming. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll say uh, that email I sent. Did Neg want to sponsor the show? Ooh. I guess I'll just. You can, so just you can, pull, you can call delete that. send emails, right? <laughs> right? That's the thing. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, we there's a What the Heck Is It game going on right yes, now. Yes, there is. So uh, get on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It. Just scroll down. It'll be on the sidebar right there. And this is what we are trying to figure out. What the heck it is. And I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, this is from a science set. This is the Cave Spider robot set. Cave spiders, they live in caves, and so uh, they don't get a lot of light. So you can tell it's not very tanned. Uh, But that is a Cave Spider robot. And uh, if you think you have the correct guess, you can get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. There's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, 
but double the Mad Magazines. Uh, 24 for funny, hilarious, clever, interesting, and adorable answers, I'll say. <laughs> Yeah, um, right. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Also, big, big, big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com. You guys, big shout out to you. You make the show happen every week. If you love this show, even if you don't love this show, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Please consider uh, giving back just a little bit. Uh, we uh, Patreon is set up as a recurring thing every episode. Uh, and if you give a, a tiny amount, just your pocket change, every episode, it really helps out the show. If enough people do it, you guys, and there are a lot of people doing it, big thanks to you who are. And please, this is our us begging you to join the people who uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash gizwiz. Some people don't want to give a reoccurring payment. Totally understand that. Also, if you go to gizwiz.tv, click the Patreon banner and scroll down, there is a PayPal link for a single-time donation. Nation. All of that is so appreciated. Thank you, everybody, who helps support the show. Uh, you guys make make the show happen. Without it, uh, we wouldn't. Sixteen hundred and thirty-one be... times. Yes, absolutely. Thank We've you. We've been on our own. You. Um, you can also head on over to gizwiz.tv and watch the show live. We record four thirty Pacific time, seven thirty Eastern time on Thursdays, and that schedule shouldn't be interrupted uh, for the upcoming future a few more episodes uh so check it out at gizwiz.tv that's where you can also see all of the archives of all our previous episodes click on the uh, item name and it'll take you to gizwiz.biz where dickie d has written up a description about every product and if you click on the link to the side of the name it'll take you to where you can buy the product uh, all of our show notes are there big big thanks for watching this episode and we will see you. Oh, don't forget, by the way, send in your uh, videos uh, for next week. Uh, and we will see you next week. Bye.